Hello and welcome back to JPP, Japan's Perfect Pens. My name is Richard and today I will be doing a video review of a Namiki Emperor pen. Now today's Emperor is the Emperor Owl. Now this pen is made by Yutaka and this particular pen was made in 2016, so it's just a few years old. So. Here is the pen. We have an owl on the cap sitting on a branch and we have a second owl in flight. Both owls positioned at the same facing side of the pen. Now Utica's other pens which I'll be reviewing include the Emperor Shoki which is a fantastic piece of technical macchie work which I haven't reviewed yet and the other one is the Golden Rose Yukaro Royale which I have reviewed. Another fantastic piece of work now, these three pens are all quite different in design, so this is a multi-skilled artist. So this is a rounded cap Namiki Emperor, which means it's an ebonite eyedropper pen with a valve. It's Urushi and Makie, 17 centimeters long. There's a little bit of Makie on the clip, and it sports a size 50 nib. So let's take a look at the pen and go around it. So starting with the owls, they are really nicely rendered. We'll talk about those a lot more later. And as we move around, we have the branches the owls are on. The top and bottom of the pen have got some gold powder. They're these very nice leaves. I really like the way the leaves have been done, especially on the top end of the pen there. And then you have some slightly different plant life at the bottom end of the pen. And it's really nice. It's very obviously this raised makie. Now the makie is Togidashi Taka makie, which is the burnished raised makie. Now, as I've said before, it takes 30 stages of production just to get the Black Emperor pen, and then many, many layers of Arushi and charcoal are added. Now, the owls are made using Rankaku technique, which is cracked and powdered quail egg shell. That's put onto the wet lacquer and held in place, then put more lacquer over the top, and that's then burnished away, which leaves you with this stunning effect. Now, you can see tiny, tiny pieces cracked into exactly the shapes that they need, They've got larger pieces in some areas, smaller pieces in other areas. So it's a really interesting technique. It very much stands out. And the raised maquille and also the rankaku both have this texture to it. And it varies slightly between these lovely oak leaves. It's a quercus serrata, which is a Japanese oak, and the texture of the owl itself. So a nice little bit of contrast. You can just see the owl's eye gleaming slightly there and that's because the eye is made of Raiden which is mother of pearl. Now just look at that wing, it's absolutely fabulously constructed. And then there's also the extra makie over the top of the rakaku such as at the end of the tail feathers there just to give it even more detail. So if we unscrew it, let's have a look at the nib and here you have the modern size 50 two-tone Namiki Emperor nib. Now we'll talk about that more in a second. It's very large. The back of the feed is plastic coated with black urushi here. And you can see a little bit of gold powder on the end of the section just so it melds more into the main barrel of the pen. So there's two pieces of gold powder. And these plant details are really nice and all different shades of greens and golds. And even where it looks green, there's often subtle gold highlighting to make it blend better. So the size 50 nib, it's 18 karat gold. It writes very smoothly with a wet flow. The flow is controlled by a valve, which is very hard to see unless you know where to look. And of course the two-tone Mount Fuji snow cap. So, these nibs are an absolute pleasure to write with if you have the hand size that they match to. If you don't, they can be quite unwieldy. So it's something that you really should try first. Try a very large pen first before committing to buying one of these as a writing instrument. I love it. It's absolutely my favorite. Even after all the pens I've tried, I still come back to the Emperor's as my preferred writing choice. Now, this particular pen has been lent to me for the review, but I have got a video where I do writing samples with Namiki Emperors. So here it is, this is the thumbnail. The video is called the Namiki Emperor Fountain Pen Writing Sample and Review and I'll put a link to it here right now. So go and have a look at that if you want to see how these amazing pens write. 
So let's have a look now at the back of the pen a little bit, moving away from the owls. So as I mentioned, there's almost no places where you see the green on the leaves without seeing some gold accompanying it. And this isn't the first Mimiki pen where we've come across that quite often to make the whole theme of gold powder macchiate work. Even when you see something that looks like it's blue or green, it will have gold highlighting around it to make it blend with the other gold parts. So that's something which um, is very evident here right now. You can see these green patches and the gold patches. And if you look further up there, the green again next to the gold. And even the gold varies between yellow shades and more orange shades. And then the lighter shades here. So it's really, really nice. I particularly like these leaves, the way they're layered over the top of each other. They've been very carefully constructed one after the other on top of each other with the rose maquille. That's a very difficult technique to build like that. So it takes an awful lot of time and skill to build these on top of each other. And the result is they look very 3D. Now they are a bit 3D because they raise macchie, but they really look like it. So it's a fantastic pen because you have these centerpiece owls, but you also have this absolutely brilliant work on the rest of the pen. And I love it when it's nicely balanced like that. Even though the owls are where your attention goes, the rest of the pen is worthy of it and is equally good in its own right. Now the other thing to note is the use of the negative space. You have to give enough black around the owls to have them stand out. So I think the patches of black, there's just some lines of gold powder in various places in the pen. There's never one place where there's a massive area of black without something in it, but equally it doesn't make it look overly busy. So they want to give this feeling of an owl flying through the forest hunting. And so there has to be enough of a forest around it, but they don't want to drown out the sight of the owl by visually overdoing what's in the pen. So it's this blending thing. And as I've said so many times with these really good Namiki emperors, this is where some of the real expertise is in this design that works so well as a piece of art and that doesn't put do too much or too little. It just gets a lovely, lovely balance. Okay, that was the Namiki Emperor Owl. So I hope you enjoyed that review. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll be creating much, much more of this type of content. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.